Hello, this is Dr. Jack Winner with another Did You Know moment. Today I'd like to talk to you about a thing called sinuses. Sinuitis, sinus infection, sinus headaches. Talk about how that simplex works and actually how that problem has come about, how it can actually be dealt with, and actually, actually be cleared and put you back into a normal state of function again. So to explain that, first of all, sinuses are actually in your face. You've got three of them, actually two of them, one on each cheek and one on your forehead here. It's an empty cavity, basically. That empty cavity allows for resonance in your tone and your voice. And also, as you hear things, it actually mutes the sound, so it actually has more of a um, melodious and easier sound to hear. Those sinus cavities also allow for new, increased mucus as it had a ch would have a chance to build up some place that mucus would go so the body can solve that problem. So here's what's going on. You have on a regular basis mucus, lymphatic fluid, that actually comes up through your face and neck it goes to mucous membranes. Its job is to kill bacterial viral infections. It also has a sticky substance to it and it actually collects pollen and allergens and pathogens that would come up through that area and will collect those and actually run it down through the lymphatic vessels, the lymph nodes, to the kidney, not the urinary system. So any place in your body you have a blood vessel, you've got a blood vein, you also have a lymphatic vessel. The lymphatic vessels, however, have things called lymph nodes inside those vessels. Those lymph nodes have cells in them, and those cells' job is to kill bacterial and viral infections. And what you have is oftentimes a string of those lymphatic vessels, and they're one after another, the little round vessels inside those vessels, that when the muscles push against those lymphatic vessels, it forces the fluid, whatever's inside there, to move down to the lymphatic node. The lymph node then kills bacterial and vi viral infections, Muscles need that lymphatic vessel again. The fluid moves again to the next lymphatic node. It kills it again, and these nodes, it's passed from one node to the next node. It eventually goes down to the sister carina, which is just a holding vessel here. It actually pushes the fluid back from there down to the kidney, up to the bladder, to the urinary system. So this, as long as these muscles need this fluid, it keeps it right on moving through the system. The body can kill the bacterial and viral infections it has, and you don't have a problem here. The problem that comes about is when those muscles don't do their job well. And you get a buildup of this fluid in your face and over your head because the fluid is not moving like it's supposed to and muscles are not needing those lymphatic vessels. When that happens, that bacteria has a chance to colonize and begin to grow and viruses do the same thing. When they do that, they now have a waste product and that waste product now causes swelling in the area. Face, head. Now there's our headaches, that's where they're coming from. This goes on for too long a period of time, eventually that those vessels become, or those um, signs become full, and that fluid now will leak over. It goes now down the throat, begin to swallow it. Now we get laryngitis, we get sore throats, we begin to cough it, try to get that fluid to move away. If it goes on for too long a period of time, it eventually goes down in your bron bronchial tree. Now we get deep coughs with that, where we can't move that fluid, and we can't breathe well, because we're trying to get that fluid to move away, so we can get some breath. And it goes down in the lungs, and so it starts now, it starts building up in the lungs. You hear this especially as people get older have difficulty with that poor um, taking deep breaths, poor circulation flow in the lungs to the point and point, in fact, in the point, they can build up a lung fluid. The solution to that problem is make sure that fluid moves away. What we commonly do is do bacterial and viral infection, uh, antibiotics, we will do uh, steroids, at the point in time it gets bad enough, we'll actually do excise or cut in surgery, surgical procedures. We don't want to do that. That's the last thing we want to do. The first thing we want to do is make sure this fluid can move the way it's designed to. If we can do it that way, we get the muscles that begin to need that fluid if we can, if we get that fluid to move back through the kidney and urinary system like it's supposed to. We start that process first and so we make that happen. If we eventually have to go on to a surgical procedure or antibiotics or uh, steroids, we do that, but that's a secondary uh, uh, thought consciousness, not the primary thought conscious. So just leave you with a tidbit here. Um, if you have a chance to actually just rub these areas, your face, and neck, and your eyes as well, get that fluid to begin to move, same with your throat as well. Our longer and better term effect is make sure these muscles are doing their job well, not just in face and neck, but also chest and shoulders as well. I'm a chiropractor and a kinesiologist, and I recommend that you see a chiropractor or a kinesiologist. What they're going to do is a chiropractor will work with a nerve supply. What he or she wants to have happen is a nerve supply of these muscles, make sure they're doing their job well. So they get that movement that we want to have to get that fluid to move like it's supposed to. 
Remember, your body is wisdom wants this to happen. It's trying to get this to happen if the muscles can do their job well. And I like kinesiology because it helps work with more with the muscles, acupressure, pressure, meridian flows. And as we do that, we begin to look at nutrition as well to make sure the body has the nutrition necessary to make these muscles do their job well and they're healthy as well. So as you get that fluid movement and you start getting the people standing up straight, you get this to start draining like it's supposed to 24-7. The body can now clean itself out and keep that flat process moving along the way and keep the system cleaned out. Okay, so that's how we might solve that problem and make it look work for you so you on a regular basis you don't keep going through this thing year after year and week after week with this process. Okay, so that's a did you know moment. Good to talk to you and hope you can use this information.